This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. In this video, I'm gonna be uh, setting up a relatively simple security system for your travel trailer, especially all you folks who have mini lights and stuff like that. They have those uh, standardized, pretty much uh, TV uh, attachments for the outside of your RV. Okay, so some of you don't have that. But this uh, kit gives you uh, something to attach to your RV if you wanna drill a couple holes on the side of your RV. Some of you folks say, I'm not drilling no holes. Well, you can use tape or something else, okay? So uh, again, I have, uh, th there's two elements to this install. One is the light system. It's a motion sensitive, LED light, uh, solar powered light system. And again, it's super, super inexpensive. In fact, I bought two of them, okay? Uh, they come in a package of two, and it's, again, relatively super inexpensive, okay? Then I bought a mount to attach to the light that attaches rather readily to the side of my RV where typically the TV would go. Where the TV would go, it just slaps in there. You turn it on and you have motion, you know, sensitive, motion activated, you know, lights, LED lights. As long as people aren't having a big party outside all night, uh, these lights should not die out on you, okay? So you only put them up when you're sleeping. You'd, you'd flip them on and then you call it good. You don't this, these are not designed to illuminate your rowdy friends and hanging out, having, you know, drinks and around the fireplace and, and uh, cavorting and stuff like that. It's not designed for that. It's not designed to illuminate a space. It's designed to come on for 15 seconds as a security light, then go off. That's it, okay? It can go on all night, but the batteries will be readily depleted. The more you use these batteries, the more uh, quickly and uh, more readily, uh, they'll fall, you know, basically uh, no longer work, okay? Uh, the batteries inside this unit are not readily, again, I use that word readily quite a bit, uh, readily uh, replaced. You're gonna have to crack this thing open and find that battery and, uh, you know, replace it. Uh, I've never done that. I've done that for phones, I've done that for other electronics and for my vacuum cleaners and stuff like that, and it, it wasn't a problem. This, it might be a problem to replace the battery. So that's why I recommend only using it. Uh, you're going to sleep, you flip it on, you have a, you know, basically a little scare light, a little security light, a motion sensitive light. When somebody creeps up on you in your, in your space, they, hey, you know, just to illuminate them, maybe scare them away, maybe inform them that these people are still here and uh, don't want you ripping off all their stuff. Okay. That's my idea. So it comes in three parts. Basically the motion sensitive, uh, light here, solar panel, goes like this, and you can attend, and you can move these lights any way you want. They tilt, tilt this way, and this tilts any way you want. Of course, you want it to be where it gets the most light. Sometimes they're gonna park at a space, and this is on the opposite side. <laughs> where, where, you know, there's a sun, the sun's over there, uh, this solar panel is pointed over here, it's not gonna work as readily again. Again, this is rather, relatively inexpensive, part A. And this piece back here, comes off okay and it just clips right here and it has two screws one two and where am I going to attach that to let me put that down I'm going to have to attach it to this plate this little plate here uh, that I bought on Amazon I think it was under 10 bucks and it comes with its own little thing here so uh, you know so you know when you're it says hey you can Part A, Part B. I'm not using Part B, I'm only using Part A, okay? So this is gonna attach back here. You can attach it right here or right here. Two screws only, and you're gonna call it Muy Bueno, Muy Bueno. Or as I say in Espanol, Muy Bueno. <laughs> so I'm gonna attach a couple screws here and bore you to death, so I'm gonna show you right now how I, how I put it together again. It's just two screws. This screwed onto that with two screws, two bolts. I have some big ones that I found lying around the house that I didn't use for another project. I'm gonna attach them to this, okay? That's it. And after I get this, this slips onto the, this slips onto the thing, bam. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Even an idiot like me can do this. You can do it probably 10 times better. You could probably do a better job at you know, finding better screws and 
doing things. So let's get started. So I'm going to disconnect this part. And uh, let me see. It goes, what does it go like? It goes. like that so uh, this is the up down so I'm okay so got to remember certain things you can pick the top you can pick the top or the bottom you could pick whatever ones you want to use and i found these screws just lying around collecting dust. So I decided to use them. They're stainless steel, so they should last a couple weeks, huh? So there's screw one. And there's screw numero dos. Coming up should be the part where I fast forward everything, okay? It's eating into the plastic. It's creating its own little grooves there. Very nice. This uh, screw has its own little uh, lock nut and washer. And it's, of course, stainless steel. Very nice. So there we are. It's all set up. I also have some uh, bolts that I can attach to the back. And if you're really paranoid, you can put Loctite on there. Loctite blue. Not Loctite red. Loctite blue is fine. But these bolts need a washer. But I'll put that on later. They need a washer, but uh, there you are. We're all set up. This now goes right here. And now, again, I could have put it down here or put it up here, but I made it a little bit taller. And uh, I'll add a washer here. A washer. Let me see if I get that nice shot here. Put a washer there eventually but let's just show you how it looks on the old uh, rv okay it's another noisy day in my uh, neighborhood hope you're doing fantastic again i'm going to be leaving links to these fantastic uh, devices the light and the uh, hardware to attach it to the uh, side of the rv in the little you know description so if you want to make me rich beyond my wildest dreams of avarice uh, you can purchase these things online at Amazon or do just do a search uh, I'll be you can uh, do whatever you want so here's the light here's the uh, contrivance close up if you can look at it uh, again I put some washers on this side just to make sure it's everything's good so let me connect it so it goes right here and you can adjust it up and down and uh, let me put the lights on there and it goes like that pretty simple and you can adjust these any way you want you can adjust it up and down you can adjust the solar panel up and down whatever is convenient for you and there you are let's get another uh, view of this uh, light again please excuse 
removes all the noise in my neighborhood. Somebody always grinding and mulching or something in my neighborhood. There's always something going on on certain days. So here's a cloud shot. Again, this is the sens sensor. These are the lights. This is the bracket. And you can adjust these whichever way you want. You can tie it in whatever way you want. And move it up and move it down. Whatever uh, floats your boat. There you go. So what do you think? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. And please leave your kind and super friendly comments below. Tell me if you think this is a good idea or just a waste of time. And again, there's an on off button back here. So you can turn it on. They have different functions and uh, it's pretty straightforward, okay? So when you're done with it and it's the morning, you say, hey, I don't need nobody. You can just take it off and call it good. From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Asus Manuel Menegarza showing you my new little contrivance. Basically a little security light for all you folks out there that do some uh, RVing, etc. etc. And it's rather inexpensive. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.